Hey guys, thank you for joining my channel. I wanted to do this video just because um, when I was looking to invest in these two pieces here from Van Cleef, I couldn't find any videos on it. Like whenever I buy fine jewelry just because it's expensive, I want to do research on wear and tear. Is it worth it? Sizing, pricing. In comparison so i was trying to compare this piece to the cartier um, Prave bracelet um, they have a bigger one and a small one just like this one uh, and this is the van cleave um, perle suite bracelet and this is in their perle collection um, and then this is the, the larger one they need to be clean so and I'm going to Van Cleef tomorrow to clean them. But I couldn't find any information. Like I looked on YouTube. I looked on Instagram. I even went to Purse Forum. And everyone that used to buy purses back in the day probably have been on there to have discussions. They are still open. I try to ask questions about that. Couldn't find any information about it. Um, so I just want to save some people some time and money if they're looking into these pieces and why you should buy them, which one is better, um, or should you get both? Okay, let's start off with the sweet bra bracelet. Um, as you can see, there are less diamonds in it when compared to the sweet clover. This one retails for 16 something, a little bit, almost 17,000. And this one is now 28,000. Um, and the white gold, it goes up a little bit more. As we know, white gold is like more expensive. This one, the sweet, I mean, the clover one is heavy, you guys. And you get significant more diamonds. Yes, it's more. But the like, I feel like there's just more. It is more. Of course, there's more gold in it, more heavy, and you get in more bang for your buck when it comes to this one. I, I did get this first, and I was curious about the sweet, and I was thinking like, hey, because I like to stack my uh, braces up, and I'll show in a video after this um, of how I like to wear it, and I was trying to add it to to really add to my stack of my other bracelets so that's why i got this small one but as you can see it's less diamonds and it's a lot lighter like i wasn't expecting it to be of course not like heavy as this but i was expecting a little bit more weight um it reminds me of the perlay one without the diamonds that one is really light too it's like less gold um, but I was expecting just because it had some diamonds on it as compared to that one, that this would be a little bit heavier. Like, I would say if I could go back, I would have just saved my money and gotten just another one of these. So they come in, uh, rose gold, white gold. And I probably would have just gotten in white gold. When I was in Paris, I was able to try on the white gold one. Because I find that, like, in the U.S., it's just not... Like, you go into these places, whether it's Van Cleef, Cartier, all these places, or clothing stores, we just have less less options. So I wasn't able to try on a few of these pieces uh, before I purchased them. And so I think what I will know now after going to Paris and everything, I would have just gotten a white gold and purchased that. Um, just because I feel like you're just gonna get more for your money and it's just more gold and more diamonds. You see that? Like the diamonds just, they don't stop. They just keep going. And this video is not really doing it justice because it's dirty, but I'll come back online and like upload a video like with, with my whole stack so you guys can see because tomorrow I'm going to get it clean and you'll be able to see like how it shines and everything. But definitely I suggest getting this because even it's not like if you were to do the price thing on it, 
Sorry, I got cut off. So as I was saying that if you can, if you're thinking about the peace between those two, just save your money and get the the larger one. You're going to be more satisfied in the end. And I feel like the quality, the price, and for the diamonds is way worth it just to get the bigger one. Okay, so here is how I wear. I usually have... I usually have, let me see, I usually have my two other Cartier bracelets like right here. I have them back here or sometimes I put them in the middle of the two, but today I've just been wearing just one. Did you guys ever, if you own a Cartier bracelet, do you take it off yourself? Like I found a trick of taking these off and not needing help. Like and maybe I'll do a video on that, but I usually... Sometimes I feel like wearing all of them, and then sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just want to wear the one. Uh, but look, this is how I wear it. So I have the sweet in the back, the Cartier love bracelet in the middle, and then I have this one up front, and then I have the just include with the diamonds, which I love. But um, this is how I wear it. But yeah, or sometimes I will change it and put it up front. Let me show you. Or sometimes I will wear, probably most of the times, I will wear the sweet bracelet up front with the Justin Clue and set it in the back. Just because it's lighter. This Cartier bracelet is heavy compared to the sweet bracelet. So sometimes I, I worry about like me wearing it to the back. Will it damage it because it's so much lighter? Um, so I will wear it up front. And also it fits with the Justin Clue. Yeah, that's my stack. So I suggest just saving those coins, ladies, if you're thinking about this, and go for the big one. You will be happy in the end.